Hello students, welcome to Long to Tech and today in my channel we'll discuss about the how to find out the charge of the polyatomic ions. You know the polyatomic ions like the say sulfate SO4 minus 2, carbon SO3 minus 2, phosphate minus 3 and all right. So how we can find out the charge of them. So let us see now. So the polyatomic ions we know that here it contains the modern uh, one types of the atoms are present and they have some charges okay and the charge how we can yes so always time uh, remembering it sometimes it's difficult so it's better to understand it's right so examples of the polyatomic ions are say sulfate sulfate ions having minus two or two minus or minus two no problem carbonate or three two phosphate of four okay it's three and out okay and some others are also there okay uh, yeah and uh, say hydroxide for x also for x minus and out because here yeah, it is the minus one minus that's right so let us see how these charges can we find out okay so this sulfur this is the central atom will be sulfur that because uh, it has uh, only one I mean the sulfur only one sulfur is there and the four oxygens are present here right so this four oxygens will surround the sulfur okay and here we have to know the sulfur sulfur its atomic number is uh, 16 balance cell there is a this is the balance cell and this is the balance electron here in the balance cell it has a six balance electrons and oxygens also we know that oxygens atomic number is eight and also here same thing kl that is a two six it also in the k cell here it have the six balance electrons okay so here First of all, we have to know here the types of the compound form here is the covalent compound and here they will get stable, okay, or they will form the compounds by getting eight in its outermost cell. Always time any atoms, they try to combine uh, or they try to shear its balance electron to get stable. They like say octet configurations. Octet means that properties of the atoms to have the eight electrons in its outermost cell. Or tendency to have eight electron in its outermost cells that's called octet configuration and all the time every atoms they try tends to get the octet configuration or duplet duplet is for the, some other cases like the hydrogens and also okay helium and all okay yeah let us see now let us here first of all for every oxygen it has six valence electron as we know and uh, if it is six, then they try to get the two electrons to get a seven. Notice this oxygen also. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Even this oxygen also. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, we did not for the oxygen its valence electron by the dot. And let us represent for the sulfur by the cross. Sulfur. It has a six valence electron and uh, this is only one sulfur so one two two electron is here with this oxygen and then here one two three four five six seven eight okay the stable and for this sulfur also here this sulfur oxygen this sulfur here this two valence electron and it also become eight and even here also here it here how many one two three four five six okay but uh, oxygen they occupy i mean that they, they try to get a stable so one two three four five six seven eight so they share together okay and what happened for this oxygen is there any other electrons that oxygen get no right the sulfur doesn't have only one two three four five six it has right so for these reasons, what this uh, what will be there? 
the oxygen needs to more electrons to get stable right that means to become it right then here these stars ions it contain it as as it exists as an ions that is unstable okay why because it needs two electrons that's why if not then it will form some other compounds so here the charge of the ions of this compound is of four is minus two why minus because if an atoms require need an electron then the, they used to have minus two that means if require if i require something how many electrons just yes, two electron then the, i will possess the minus okay so that's why this oxygen needs two electron okay to become eight that's why it has ions that is the so4 minus two ions clear the point yeah so this is for the sulfate ions let's see okay carbonate also same thing okay okay let's see for the carbonate and others uh, you can try yourself also yeah this is for the sulfate ions and now comes for the carbonate ions let's see carbonate here the carbon is in the center and the three oxygens are present here three oxygens will surround it okay carbon you know that uh, six atomic number and it is kl24 it has four valence electron oxygen to as we know eight that is the two six right so that's why one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six but for the carbon it has only four valence electrons to whom it will give okay that's point so all are the same only okay so carbon here it's two electrons with this oxygen and here also it's here it's electrons okay so here for these oxygens they got stable right at the same time here also one two three four five six seven eight for the carbon also already right but what happened in this case okay in this case what happened this oxygen need two more electrons okay to get it or to get octet or to become the octet can figure it right so that's why this is unstable this compound itself it is an unstable form okay so due to that unstable that means it required two electrons right so here it charges carbonate or three it charges come as two that is minus two it required that's why it's minus two got the point yeah so this is how we can find out the charge of the all these polyatomic ions okay so phosphate let's go for phosphate okay yeah okay phosphorus also here in the center phosphorus and here one two three four four oxygens are surrounding the phosphorus and phosphorus its atomic number is 15 so that it comes to eight five that is in the electronic configuration that is five valence electron oxygen already here we know that okay so like that one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six always time these oxygens have a tendency to share its valence electrons okay it required two that's why it shared two electrons but it will not have right so the phosphorus five so it's here one two three four and one more with this oxygen five okay for this oxygen already got is stable this also but what happened for this also only single there is only one balance electron is shared with this oxygen okay that is the one linkage is here right so that's why what happened here it charge comes to how much that is the here is the one electrons is required okay to share with the oxygen right and for with this oxygen it require two electrons right so then one plus two that together it comes to three right it require isn't it so that's why here the <clears throat> it will come po4 that is oxygen four in number and it just two plus one that is three 
that is the minus 3. So the oxidation step also begins here. Okay, so it charge of the, this volatomic ion is minus 3. Okay, for phosphate. Clear now? Right. And C at the same time, let us see for the hydroxide. Hydroxide O8. Okay, oxygen as we know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, you know, the hydrogen the atomic number is 1. So in the K cell, it has only one electron, right? So it share one electrons. But what do you think here? The oxygen will get two electrons here? No. Right. Okay. But for the hydrogen, though, it can take the one electrons, right? Oxygen for hydrogen, so it can gather one electrons from here and it can gather the plus configuration. But for the oxygen, it requires one more. That means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then it will become eight, right? So that is one is required by these oxygens. One electron is required by these oxygens. That's why the formula of the this polyatomic ion, the hydroxide ion, is minus. Just only minus, the not that one electron is required okay or you say minus one you can write so this is uh, all about the all this and some others many others are also there you can find out so the rules that we have to find out is by this way okay so we will find out the balanced electron i mean that the electronic configuration and we will find a balanced electron and a balanced electron they will share with the central atoms and uh, how much the electrons they require that will be the charge of that atoms or is it poly uh, polyatomic ions okay if they have more then it will get the they have tendency to donate right so that's why they will have the plus stars okay so now let us see one example for the positive ions say ammonium ions and it's four plus so how this plus there is plus is plus one okay so how this plus also come so if we give only the if I give only the negative ion polyatomic ion then sometimes you may ask the question arise the question right so let us see for the ammonium ions so nitrogen and how many hydrogens they are surrounded four hydrogens surrounding the nitrogen okay so nitrogen is the central atom okay so nitrogens as you know nitrogen atomic number is seven. So by electronic configuration that comes to 5, right? And hydrogen, so as you know, its atomic number is 1, right? So hydrogens, how many hydrogens? So 4 hydrogens. Yes, say I represent there, here the uh, balanced electrons of the hydrogen by a cross, okay? For the nitrogen, let us represent by the dot. So hydrogen have the one electron hydrogen will get stable by getting the what duplet that means to become the two in its automobile cell right so what happened these hydrogens okay will get one electrons okay shared by this nitrogen that is one electron share here also one electron share here also one electron share one electrons one two three four that means four electron is shared by these nitrogens but it has five electrons in right? Yeah. So one electron is back end here. That means the oh, sorry, not back end, it is more. So one electron is more. Right? So for this one to already get stable. Okay, even the nitrogen also, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, but uh, one electron is more. Right? So it has more. Right. Then it still can give to the some ones that is some others uh, elements or some others uh, ions right so those who need no? so that's why the charge of this ammonium that is n is four is one that is plus that is plus one one we can omit also or just simply we can write n is four okay so this is how we can find out for the positive ions but all these things they need they require to gain the electrons right so they have the minus okay if i require then i will possess the negative if i have the more then i will get the positive charge okay so like this we can find out the source of the polyatomic ions very easily so that's all for today thank you